everybody. Dave here with Funky Food with Dave, Paula, and Jake. around here somewhere. Hey. Uh, today Jake said is hey. Wednesday, March 22nd. We're two days into spring, and it's still spring weather here, just like it was Monday when we had our taste test Monday. It was gorgeous then, and it's gorgeous today. It's supposed to be really warm the rest of the week. Next week, we're going to cool down a little. Sorry, guys. i got an itchy nose. Um... Yeah, where was it? Oh, the weather. The weather's been great. And the quicker spring comes, the better. I'm looking forward to trees with leaves. Birds. Birds. Grass. Fixing up the flower beds. I got a work list this long on my phone. <laughs> for spring work list. Um, so today, being it's a Wednesday, it's one of our travel days. And as you see, we're on our Funky Food with Dave Hot Sauce Travel Map. And today, we're at this little, little, tiny, little thing called Rhode Island. <laughs> right there. A little arrow point to it. Right there. So, just some quick facts about Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the smallest state by far. I mean, it is by far the smallest state. The next smallest state is actually Delaware. And actually, Delaware is almost... One and a half times bigger. That's how small Delaware, uh, Rhode Island is. It's the 45th in population with like 1.2 million. But you got to remember, they're all squeezed into a very small area. So Rhode Island's very densely populated. Even though it's the 45th in population, it's very densely populated. Um, it was admitted to the Union on May 29th, 1790. So it became, that was the 13th state. The largest city is Providence, where we've stayed. Um, we stayed at the Hilton down there. We ate at Murphy's Delicatessen, which was... Uh. Oh, deep, I got... I get the shepherd's pie. Uh -huh. The shepherd's pie with real lamb, not burger, lamb, was ugh, unbelievable. You got the... Uh, I got a salad, if you remember. Didn't I? Yeah, I think I thought you got a sandwich, too, I thought. I got a salad in a but I was more intrigued by the salad, yeah, and I don't I, remember I, why. All I remember is I got the, the shepherd pie. I think I got pie. a Reuben. No? I think you, that's what I thought you got was the Reuben. Yeah. I think you got the Reuben and salad. It was like a salad, a half sandwich Yeah, or yeah. And that Reuben was pretty big for a half half size sandwich. But the, 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 the uh, shepherd's pie was amazing. And we went down there for a Comic-Con, yep, right? Yeah, we went to the uh, Providence, Rhode Island Comic-Con. Um, we stood outside. Remember, it was so cold. Waiting to get in there. Yeah. Made friends cool. with a lot of people that day because I was yeah. frozen. Yeah, but uh, that was a good Comic-Con. We've been to that one. We've been to the Boston one. And we uh, went to that other one. The one oh, in... Right, um, uh, Concord, New Hampshire. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I like the Providence one the best out of those three. I'd like to get back there this year. It's in November. And I retire November 10th. <laughs> it's coming up quick. <laughs> um it was the first colony to uh, revoke its allegiance to England. Um, nickname is the Ocean State. Uh, the state drink is coffee milk, which I've had. I love coffee milk, but I actually saw a one of those like uh, Andrew Zimmer and whatever when he was down there doing one of the things. They showed what coffee milk is. Next time I go to Rhode Island, I want to try a coffee milk down there. It what is it? like? It's coffee and milk, but they do it some special way down there. So I want to try that. Um, it was also, everybody thinks of the Boston Tea Party and all that as the first act of rebellion against the English. It was not. The first uh, act of rebellion against the, the crown was on June 10th, 1772, when the rebels burned the HS, HMS Gatsby. They burned it right flat to the, the ocean. That was the very first one, and then the Boston Tea Party and other stuff's happened after that. So, with that being said, let's get into the hot sauce that we're doing today. And here you go. And it's called Danditos. Hold on, babe. Hey. It's not going to zoom in. That yeah, actually, label's I did so, pretty good. It did? Yeah. That label's so dark with gray writing, it's hard to read. It says extremely hot. Yep. So, Dandito Black. Extremely hot contains Carolina Reapers. Um, refrigerate after oving. How do you know? How do you Dandito? Um, you can check them out at uh, Facebook and Instagram at Dandito. I can't even read that. It's so dark. 
Um, but you can also check them out at www.danditosauce.com. D-A-N-D-I-D-O sauce.com. Danditosauce.com. All right. Ingredients. Red wine vinegar. Celery. Tomato paste. Brown sugar. Scotch bonnet habanero pepper. Hungarian wax banana pepper. Rosemary. Dry onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne, bird pepper. Bird or burn? Bird. I'm going to have to look that up. I I've never heard of that. I've never heard of it. Wasabi, reaper, cinnamon, black pepper, white pepper, mustard powder, and ginger. That is a very just weird list of some ingredients. Some cool ingredients. I like how they had the little... Uh, Bandana. Bandana up there. Um, let's see here. Check this out. Wow, that's a thick sauce. Paula just looked it up. Bird pepper. This one's called the penguin pepper, though. Well, they, that's what it goes. They have a name. Huh. I, maybe this is the same. Can you eat bird pepper? Okay, so African bird pepper, it's called bird's eye chili pe pepper as well, is an extremely hot cayenne pepper. Um, what's another name for it? Yeah, it's uh, because birds eat this pepper. That's why it's called the bird pepper. It's a hot chili pepper. Uh, commonly used as a spice. Um, five to eight times hotter than jalapeno. It's not very hot. And it is described as a citrusy and nutty in, fla in flavor. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well, hum dinger, honey. Amazon must be a better package or something. Very thick sauce. Smells great. Does not smell as hot as what the is you know the description is. Smells. Great. Do you know? I don't think I've ever heard you say. I don't know if you can see that, but ever heard you say red wine vinegar in anything? No, we've had a few sauces. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. <clears throat> um, I actually get the red wine vinegar on that. I don't know what I get. It's it's. It smells good. It's very, it smells like a lot of action yeah, going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this. Uh, I get the tomato paste and that brown sugar. The smell. Yeah. I'm not getting much for a pepper smells. That is, that is very distinctive smell. Wouldn't you say? Like you said, it's very busy. It's busy. That's a good way. Yeah, busy. very busy on the, the, the smells. A lot of action. A lot of action, honey. What are you looking for, babe? Shot. Boy, my nose is itchy. Wow, it's so dry in here because the pellet stove going. Yeah, we should run that thingy. That's such a thick sauce. I don't want to come out. Let me get it to come out one way or the other. Look at that. Look how thick that is. That's thick. Look at that. That is some thick sauce. Mm -hmm. That actually looks good. It smells great. I'm getting the pepper on that smell. This, I think this is going to be a hot sauce. Here we go. I'm I'm torn here. I don't know if that's a good thing. Just seed. 
It's not as hot. They're saying very hot. Could I handle it? Snow falling out the roof. I'm going to put a little bit here. It's definitely a throat burn. That's the Reaper for me. But Reaper is really far down on the list. Nah, I won't try it. Reaper will, like, rip me apart. You get the red wine vinegar. Something, again, it's not a bad sauce. It's not, as, it's not very hot. Red wine vinegar, tomato paste, definitely get the tomato, the brown sugar. I'm getting the onion and garlic. I don't know what the bird to pepper tastes like because, I mean, you can remember there's uh, Scotch bonnet habanero pepper in here. There's Hungarian banana peppers in here. There's cayenne, bird pepper, wasabi, reaper. I'm getting the reaper now. The reaper's coming in now. This is a delayed sauce. Um, it's a sweeter sauce. You get the red wine bitter, you get the tomato paste and the sweetness. Now the sauce, the heat is building. It's all tongue for me right now. Little bit back here, little bit of heat on the in the throat, but it's a all tongue heat for me. So that's a, to me that would be the habanero Scotch bonnet pepper, which is a tongue burn. I can't tell you anything about the bird pepper. Um, very unique sauce, flavor wise. Let me try it on a chippy. A little bit of a chip. <laughs> so that's what we're doing now. We're tasting the, the sauces plain on a spoon, and then we're putting it on something to see if that actually helps. Chip, cracker, and cheese. This. this is very thick. This is an extremely thick sauce. I would say it didn't enhance or it didn't enhance it or hurt the sauce in any, any way shape or form the salt from the chip helped brought a little bit more flavors i'm getting more i'm getting more cayenne after that bite with that salt that, that bird thing no bird that, pepper. the bird pepper i don't know what it tastes like so i can't tell you oh. what it, i'm getting the scotch bonnet and habanero in there get the reaper a little bit on my throat but i'm getting it's a mostly habanero scotch bonnet burn like I said, like I showed you, it's a very thick sauce. That is extremely thick. Heat-wise, it's a one. A solid one. I The more you eat of it, you're definitely going to get yourself to a two. If you're only into habaneros, that's what you consider hot pepper. This could put you at a three or four. If you're not into any of that stuff, then jalapenos on a grinder is hot for you this could put you at a five or six yeah that could put you at a five or six but to me it's a solid heavy one flavor wise as you see Paula did this little flavor scale up here the other day and you see our you know we have no but Paula says what is it honey nasty <laughs> so I, Our friend Kate says she wants, apparently I say it a lot, which I never realized, but Kate said she wanted to do a drinking game with it that um, every time I said nasty, you have to do a shot. She and, would have to do a shot. Yeah. And I was like, that sounds like a fun game. So I should challenge people that every time I say nasty, you so have to do So in other words, one. Kate, you might want to stay home and be on the couch if you're going to play that game because you're probably be drunk pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I said it that much until I really paid attention watching a video. I am going to put this... <clears throat> At a seven, which is a low end of the marvelous scale, it's a good sauce, very unique sauce. Would I buy it again? Probably not, but it's a good sauce. Now we got this at the hot sauce festival down in uh, 
uh, Hampton, Hampton, New Hampshire last year, the New England Hot Sauce Festival, and they're going to be back. They're setting up again this year for the second. If they're there again, I'm going to see what else they have for sauces as well because I would recommend it. I would recommend that sauce to people to try. But so, what would you put it on? It's is oh, it even fun good, to no, taste? That's a good that that like is a steak a sauce. No, that's a wing. That's you that get that out or even a dip for a like a chicken fingers or something. That is a chicken sauce all the way. That would really be good on chicken. Oh no, that's that's a chicken sauce. You know what? I'm gonna whip something up like that up for the next. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that's a that's a that is a, oh that's a perfect chicken sauce for somebody who likes a little heat. That apple that, that I mean the uh, the red wine vinegar, the tomato, the reaper, the habanero scotch bonnet, the brown sugar, everything. This lends itself to be a chicken sauce, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it. Yeah, I I want to buy it again. I want to see what they have for other sauces. And when we go down, if they're there, we will definitely do that. So I'm giving a, a one solid heavy one for heat. Um, tomorrow I like to wake up, it could be a two. Um, flavor, it's a, a, a seven, so it's, it's a marvelous sauce. Um, yeah, so again, that's the Dandito. Dandito Black. From Dandito Hot Sauces out of uh, Rhode Island, I believe they're... I think it was Providence, I think they're state or Warwick, one of those two. Can you see where they're out of? Hold on, honey. I'm trying to focus. That, that black on the gray on black, that really dull gray is hard to pick up. Hold on. I'm trying people. That's right. That's right. That's right, honey. No, I could, I'm working. Okay. Doesn't really say, to be honest with you. Oh, right there. Dandy Products, LLC, Manchester, New Hampshire. Yeah, that's where it's bottled, but they're out of they're out of Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Uh, this they make it right in Rhode Island. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. We will talk to you Friday. Friday. For Funky Food Friday. What are you doing? We're going to try something different. Oh. Uh, we, we, we're watching some um, stuff, and we, we've talked about doing this, and we're going to do something. It's a funky food, but it's a combination of a couple things. Um, so it'll be a funky food. Uh, yeah. Is that fun idea that we have? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's exciting. Stay tuned because that's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Take care of yourselves. Remember, hot sauce never goes out of style. We will see you Friday. Have a good day. Oh, oh, oh. Remember, oh. if you like this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification Ding, ding, bell. ding, ding. And we will see you Friday. Have a good day. Bye.